We told yeah, everybody online. Our families. Yeah, you felt almost like a bit of a failure. I got to a point where I was really not enjoying life. What's the next step? And there was a bit of a clash, wasn't there? It was just, no. it didn't feel the same. Because it know. happened on the first day. We, we didn't know what was going to happen after that, to be honest. Because I didn't want to be pushed into it. It was such a big decision for also me. Also a good setup. What? Why is that <laughs> bad to talk about? We were both single. Ready? I'm nervous. Let's go for it. <laughs> on notes now. I haven't done this in so long. You was used to it, remember? Yeah, but this is it's been over a year since we did one of these. Mm. Anyway, should we go for it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> All right, guys, how you doing? Uh, welcome back to a Spen and Alex video. And it has been a long, long time since uh, I've said that. Alex is with me, uh, both in the video and also in relationship status because <laughs> we are back together, aren't we, Alex? We are. We had a whole year apart from each other. Eight years together, one year off, a lifetime for the rest of our lives. That's the plan. <laughs> the um, it's been, Cheesy. It's been a longer than a year absence on the YouTube channel, hasn't there? I think yeah. It's been probably closer to a year and a half or something. I don't know. Yeah, I think so because the last video we did was when I did my triathlon. Yeah. Oh, it was like September 2018. Earlier. Yeah, yeah, it was like July or August. Yeah. So it's well over a year and a half. So well over 18 months. We could have had two babies in that time. We haven't. We've had no babies. We were apart. Um, so. Yeah. We're going to talk about a few different things in this video. This is our first video back for a while obviously as we've just said and we want to just get you guys back up to speed we get a lot of questions uh everything i do at the moment whether it's live streams videos whatever it's often mentioned particularly if alex is seen in it mm -hmm. and you've been in a few of my streams and stuff recently um so we just wanted to get one official place we have put this on instagram we put it on instagram yeah. around christmas that we're back together we never did a breakup video no we didn't so yeah it might be that you don't even know that we had a break it's true. It's very true. You might just think we've been really lazy on we were YouTube. Just, or we've just been quiet, yeah. Yeah. This channel actually was off of YouTube. We took it off of oh, YouTube. Oh, yeah, we did, didn't we? This channel was, it was there, but it was a private channel for yeah. about a year, maybe. We talked about custody. Yeah, it didn't get <laughs> quite get to the, the phase of who's going to have it on weekends. Remember, we were going to do rock, paper, scissors, weren't we, to determine if we broke up, who would have the channel. That would have been a great video. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an important thing to stress, though. We're going to get into sort of why we broke up and why we got back together, but I think... The fact that we didn't make a breakup video, it gives you guys a bit of an understanding as to where we were. Like, you know, you've never been a YouTuber. If, if, yeah, in yeah, that yeah. Sense. I've never our, had my own channel. Our channel has been your YouTube yeah. experience, apart from the much of work you've done behind the scenes on my stuff and, and our stuff. But as Alex, you've never been a YouTuber. So when we broke up, there was never really any chance of you continuing a YouTube channel. You know, it was something we considered. If yeah. I had the channel, I thought would you I should continue do content? I thought you should do it. But, but I've never wanted to create my own content. Which is one of the reasons above you know, many reasons we didn't do the rake up video. Some people will do it in cynical way to get views. And we, we talked about that. We were sure there was going to be interest in people watching the video while we broke up. But I've seen them before. And like Nothing against people that have done these videos or have gone through that difficult time. But everyone starts crying in them. And it's all. And just thought, you know what? If people really care, they follow, they'll probably follow us on Instagram and, and Twitter. And we put it out there and we said, look, respect our privacy. We did the same post on each account. Yeah. And we just went our separate ways in that regard, so uh, publicly. Behind the scenes, we still saw a fair bit of each other. Yeah. Because we were still working together to an extent. Well, so, when you've had eight years together and you created a life together like we had, you don't just go your separate ways and say, bye-bye, I'm not going to see you for as long as you want it to be. The reality is we've got a house together, we've got a dog together, we've got two businesses together. So we were never going to be able to just not see each other. There'll be people that get divorced, even though of we course. weren't married, that have less... You know, the mess to, to, to sort of split split apart and break up. Children had, would have been yeah. a nightmare. <laughs> we had our child in Joey. Yeah. You know, and, and Joey was in shared custody throughout the year. Yeah. But we'll start, I said at the beginning, at the beginning of the first end, hopefully the only end of our relationship and why it happened. And listen, I'll be honest with you guys, we're not going to go into like huge detail because we don't want to and we don't have to. It's not... Um, your business in that regard. I'm sorry, but we're not trying to monetize our relationship. We're not trying to put everything online. Uh, we may have done that a little bit in the past, although I'd, I think we were always fairly good at drawing that line. But it is that that commodification of the relationship to an extent that did start uh, the ball rolling in, in us breaking up amongst uh, many other things. But ultimately, I'll say like we've we've obviously talked a lot about this off camera. Obviously, but I'll start telling the story a little bit, and then you can jump in and and, and let me know if you think it's any inaccuracies. But okay. We were together eight years, as you guys Incorrect. know. <laughs> Joking. It's that fake laugh. Was it eight years or not? It was eight. Correct. Yeah, it was over eight. It was almost exactly, yeah, just, yeah, just, just over. Eight. And um, what, probably four or five years of that was 
working together yeah. slash making content together. It's so about half the relationship. We were together way before. I'd always been doing YouTube, but we were together before you ever got involved in it or before yeah. it had any success as well. Mm. No success. No success. So um, that was a, something that we grew into together, yeah. the relationship. And I think, yeah, about the last four years, you, you were really working with me. You quit your n- normal job. You'd come on board with it. Originally, just helping me do my stuff. Then mm-hmm. we started Hashtag. Uh, we, our own channel, this channel was growing as well. So we're dealing with all that in the relationship. And there's various challenges that froze up. And I think you've got all that. You've also got my own career experience as mm-hmm. well. Um, and you know, we, we, we've got this new setup here, this new sort of almost podcast setup, and I'm more than happy to talk about things I haven't talked about at, at longer length in the future. That's one of the reasons I've done this. And there's maybe a whole different podcast to talk about my own mm. experiences. Yeah. But it did play into the relationship. I had periods of stress uh, with... Because you, I don't like using the word famous, but you are, you have a, <laughs> a greater audience and um level of fame which i never aspired to have so you were dealing with the added pressure of that of the issues that come with fame and um people well, looking up to I, you i, I agree but i also being in the would, public eye. i wouldn't really say that was a massive part of it as much as it was more the management position i'd found myself in within our, our world like i'd actually left management roles before uh, in my old jobs and i suddenly we'd created this baby and hashtag that we loved and we still love but I'd found myself, before we got certain people on board to help us, which we have now, managing those people and being responsible for them in a way that had to be done to achieve the things we wanted to achieve in our career. But equally, I didn't want to do. Like, mm. I wanted the, the machine. And it sounds like you can't have your cake and eat it. And I know and this is why these things happen, guys. we are not always got all the right answers. Things happen in life. But I realized that the thing I wanted to achieve, I wasn't able to achieve it on my own. I had to get people to help me. In the, in, in the business side. And we did do those things. And we, this, this room we're in right now used to be the, the hashtag HQ before we got an external one. And that was a big part of getting a little bit of the stress out of, because I'd always been doing multiple jobs, been making my own content. I'd been presenting and doing stuff for other people, which became a really important part of uh, our lives financially because I was putting a lot of my own money into hashtag uh, and also not being paid to do any of those roles. So I had to do all those things. And then I had the job of running hashtag as well. So this isn't a like, get your violin out, you know, worries me. It's just, these are things that happened that contributed it contributed to yeah. it it was never a breakdown in our relationship there was no real arguments there was no real fists thrown or like you know tantrums it was just no. it didn't feel the same also, me, it didn't feel the same you've got to add that with the fact that we were hitting 30 yeah we were entering a new transition of life a new period where you're thinking right where do i want to go do I want to have children? What's the next step? The reality is is that we wanted potentially different futures. And there was a bit of a clash, wasn't there? Yeah, I, I got to a point where I was really not enjoying life, which sounds ridiculous because I had so many things to enjoy. And I'm aware of that. And I was aware of that at the time. But I'm more aware of that now. But something wasn't right. I needed to change something. And I'd run out of things to change, basically. Mm. And the one thing that I felt I never would have changed, never wanted to change, because I, I love so much about our relationship, I couldn't get the enjoyment out of it anymore. So we needed this new experience. And that's where we were. We had some really honest, frank, emotional discussions. And we went, we went separate ways as much as we could at that point. Anyway, this was like December 2018. We broke up in New York. We broke up in New York. You came to meet me after I'd been away and we had a, a difficult chats and we yeah. stayed together for a few more days in New York after we'd officially sort of broken up. We went to the Met together. We yeah. went to Billy Joel concert. It was really sad few days, obviously. But it was like we still enjoyed each other's company. It almost made it harder in a way because you sort of agreed to break up and then you were like, but this is still really fun. Because <laughs> it happened know. on the first day. We, we didn't know what was going to happen after that, to be honest. And maybe some of you and I had different ideas on it, but I always felt that there was a chance of getting emotional. <laughs> we just said we weren't going to do <laughs> <No>. this. <laughs> well, either way, we'll skip through this part. Cause, but the point is, we didn't know where it was going to go from there. Um, we didn't know if we were... We knew we were not not going to ever see each other again because there's so much we still had to sort out. But we we... We didn't know if we were going to get back together or not. We didn't know uh, how it would go. And we went our separate ways. We had a very, what's the word, probably insightful year, certainly for me, I think for Alex as well. We learned a lot about ourselves. And I think that's something that it was actually been, again, you can speak for yourself, Al, but really, really useful. Mm. Um, it's, it's, it's weird to say that it was a good year because it wasn't a good year because there's lots of downsides and lots of things I'd love that they've never happened. But I think we both really benefited from it as people because when you've been in a relationship from what, we were like 21 when we got together Mm. and all that huge part of your life, the 20s, but then also what's happened in our career and we've talked about all these things, 
you can, you can miss out on some life lessons when you become yeah. so interdependent on each other. I was certainly dependent on you in a lot of things. And I think I was overly dependent on you in a lot of the kind of day to day management of our lives. And, um, and you'd probably found yourself in a position where everything you did was centered around the things I was doing in my career. Yeah. So we were really dependent on each other and getting that independence back and then getting that priorities reassessed, certainly for me, understanding what I wanted, what I didn't want, what was important and what was less important. And then understanding, you know, this is what my life is like with Alex. This is what my life is like without Alex. Well, which is and now I know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you, you don't know until you know. And uh, last time we, I was single, I was 21. And it sounds really stupid, but it's really nice to remember that you can survive and you can still have a good life without the other person. Like we would still survive without each other. Yeah. But we're choosing to be together because we know our lives are more enriched that way. And we've been through the horrible, painful bit. You know, we've been through the having to, you moved out. Like you've just moved back in the house now. Alex well, probably moves all that stuff yeah, out. Three like months ago. All the, all the st- we had the whole moving day it we was went horrible. through. You actually moved to a few different places. I moved out for a little bit at first and came back in and we, you know, it was, we went through the most, we told the, everyone we work with. We told you know, everybody the, online. Our families. Yeah. You know, everything you could think you'd have to go for that would be painful. We did it all. Yeah. We came back from the other side of it. Yeah. Which I think is massive. And at the time, you felt almost like a bit of a failure mm. because you feel like you've dedicated so much time to this other person, to this relationship. And we had created so many good things together for us to pull the plug on it was a bit, it was yeah. difficult. I don't like looking at relationships as, as failures. And um, you shouldn't. Obviously, some of them end more bad and yeah. worse than others. But ours didn't end in that way. And there were so many things to look back on. And even when I was looking at it and thinking we wouldn't get back together, I still looked at it as a great thing. I never once thought, oh, what a waste of time. I wish I hadn't spent eight years with her. I looked at it as an amazing thing because I had so much respect for you regardless of whether we were together or not. We achieved so much together. We said it in our our breakup post, like what an amazing relationship. What an amazing person to spend your 20s with. A relationship shouldn't only be a relationship if it goes on forever. Definitely not. For me personally, that year was... A, extremely difficult, but B, also amazing because I took myself off to loads of different places. I regained some independence, which I felt like I'd lost. And I spent some more time with family and friends and just rediscovering what I wanted. And for me to look back on that year and say it was really bad or it was really good, I can't do either. So I think ultimately I look back on it because we've come out the come out at the other end. I think I look at it as more positive now. Yeah, well, I, I think the best way of saying it is just it was in a really important year, mm. a really important year that we both needed. And there were so many different permutations that could have happened off of us, back of us broken up. Like one of us could have felt it would be great if we got back together. Yeah, the other person could have felt it'd be better if we didn't. And that that was something that we both knew going in, and there was a risk of that. And when we did kind of reconnect and talked about it throughout the year, there was clearly always that. You know, this isn't, there's something still here. We shouldn't walk away from it. And, and we I think could have met somebody else. We could have met other people, Because we yeah. were dating other people. We talked about that as well, didn't we? Yeah. I, I said to you, you know, I'll be honest, you know, I've been on a number of dates and whatnot, and there's just no one that compares. There's just no one that comes close. And people say there's, I think about it a lot, this thing that I think it's from friends or something. I don't know where I've heard it, but uh, it takes roughly a month for every yeah. year you were together to get over someone. I don't so, know if that's true though. So we were, it's a rough guide, right? Yeah. So we were together for eight years. So I'd always think, right, come August, everything will be all right. Once we no, get to I August. I heard something else. What did you hear? I heard it takes half the time you've been with that person to get over them. So you, wow. it would have taken you four years, which I think is more realistic than eight months, mate. Yeah, it depends. <laughs> I mean, it depends what you mean by get over, right? Because like you said, I agree. People can get on with their lives and people yeah. can have happy lives and be fine. And I always felt that I was be willing, able to do that, but I never fully in I never stopped entertaining the idea of us getting back together I never stopped thinking about what it'd be like if we did this and I think that's what being over someone means or closure mm. is when you just stop having that voice in your head that says oh well, what about her what about her when you no longer have that that's I think closure and that's and I never got anywhere near that I even went to the other side of the world to help you yeah I appreciate that <laughs> that was the catalyst I think in many ways was when you went to Australia we've been talking we've seen a little bit of each other had a few rendezvous, you know. What? <laughs> what? Why is that bad to talk about? We were both single. Okay. There's a few rendezvous. A few, you know, je ne sais quoi. <laughs> what are you? I feel like in the that? office. You know when they like, they're like, Jim's like. I mean, um. <sighs> when you went to Australia and you went and you actually left your job, I think it's the most important thing. So you've been working at Hashtag yeah. for a long time. I don't go to the office anywhere near as much as Alex was or did or does now. 
Um, so we wouldn't, we weren't sitting like when we first started working together, we were sitting in a room together all day. We hadn't been doing that for years. But um, so we, even though Alex was still working at Hashtag for most of last year, we weren't seeing loads of each other. No. But there was still that, we were in a lot of WhatsApp groups together yeah. and things like this. When you actually went to Australia, you left some WhatsApp groups. Yeah. You no longer worked at the, at the club officially. I officially officially. gave my notice in. You did, you left. You were no longer yeah. a staff member. Came off the payroll. We had a leaving due. We did, and I went to that. Yeah, of yeah, course. It wasn't like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. It wasn't like that yeah. sort of thing where I wouldn't go to leaving due. And it was relationships the do. hardest thing for me to make that decision because I was saying goodbye to something I'd helped create. I wasn't going to say goodbye to it forever. Everybody was saying to me, leave, you know, leave the job, find a new job. This is what you need to do to move on. But I didn't want to do it until I felt like I needed to do it or I yeah. wanted to do it because I didn't want to be pushed into it. It was such a big decision it's for me. It's also a good setup. It's a great setup. And I love the people I work with. And I love the, I love hashtag and I love what we've created. We needed to see what life was like properly without each other. Yeah. Which is what we did. Which we started to do, exactly. And we had proper radio silence as well. When you went to yeah. Australia, we didn't talk for a couple of months. You yeah. were there for three months, just under? Just under, yeah. Yeah, we both learned a lot. And listen, I, I think we've covered a lot of what I want to talk about now. Yeah. I, I, I want to keep some things between ourselves. I don't want to think we have to be an open book. And there's a reason we're making this video now. And it's not because we're trying to get views. If we were trying to do that, we'd have done it a long time ago, yeah. this video. And we announced we got back together, what, two months ago on, on, yeah. on social media? We still haven't done it. There's a couple of things we wanted to happen first. We wanted to get set up. Yeah. And this setup is a setup we're going to use for a lot of different content, including my own content. Still haven't fully set up, so I've still got... Look, look at this little fluffy it's thing. Cute. What do you think about this? Um, yeah. We're getting there. We wanted to get set up. We also wanted to um, have a few videos to put on the channel because we don't know how many videos we're going to make going forward. We're certainly not going to be regular, regular uploaders. We've got too many other things to worry about. But the channel is alive and it will be kept alive and there will be content going on there yeah. when we have certain landmarks in our lives. I mean, we've always been, hopefully, quality over quantity anyway. Oh, yeah, big time. <laughs> and that's going to continue. But So we've got another video coming up soon as well, which I think is going to be a very good one. Uh, hopefully, you guys are excited to see it. Have a little... Um, Guess maybe in the comments below as to what it could be about. So we, we've got no idea how this channel is going to perform if we're talking perfectly honest yeah. in YouTube terms. When you've had a channel that's not only been not uploaded for 18 months, but also been off of YouTube, like we took it out of the algorithm, yeah. it, was, it was private. So these videos could get no views and we're not doing them to get views. We never have. We never have. We've, never, uh, we've made money from our YouTube videos, but it's never been our main income earner. It's never, no. We've never needed it to or wanted it to. We always wanted this to be the extra... Fun bit. Yeah, we always said it was something that document big points in our lives and then yeah. to have a really cool interactive video album of our lives, yeah. which, which obviously got. you're not going to continue when you're not together. No. But yeah, so that can continue as and when is physically possible. We have got another video coming. So this was a chance for us to update you guys. We didn't want it to be something that comes up in every video. Why did you, when did you break up? When did you go out together? What's happening? What you guys to be updated? We could feel like that was done and we could move on. And um, we've actually been talking for quite a while already. I know. But I do, I do want to finish by just talking about like how interesting what's happening in the world right now is and, and clearly acknowledging that we're not unaware of it. This is coming out in a very sensitive time. You guys watching may well be watching because you've got nothing else to do because you're in lockdown or everyone to call it because of what's happened with this thing that's going around, which mm -hmm. we're not going to name because apparently it affects the performance of YouTube videos, if you say, but you guys know what I'm talking about. But it's changed people's lives, some, some of them irreversibly. Yes, and lots of smaller businesses or medium-sized businesses are being affected. People are not being able to see their family and friends, which actually really hit me this morning, I think. I felt quite low, actually, because I was like, there's no end in sight. We don't know moment. when we're going to see our parents again. No, like I know. In real life. Luckily, yeah. we've got FaceTime and whatnot. But I saw someone that went around the... Tom Grennan, actually, the musician, who I met at a show I did recently on his Instagram. He went to his mum's house for Mother's Day and sat outside the lounge. He mm. was in the garden outside and they chatted on FaceTime through the window. We need to do that. I thought it was quite nice from it Tom. It's nice. So we could do doing something like that. But it's, it's, it's a crazy time, man. Well, there's a lot of people talking about it. We, we're yeah. no different. We haven't got any answers. People are working from home. Yeah. And they're finding themselves not only working from home and being in the house a lot... They're also finding themselves being with their partners a yeah. lot. And that's something that we can obviously relate to and that we've got experience in. But we thought maybe we could give some hints and tips as to how to survive this sort of time. Well, yeah. And as much as you can say, look, we broke up for a year. <laughs> I do think we are quite good at it. We are, we've been pretty much yeah. in isolation for the last sort of two or three weeks now. Yeah. We did our big Costco shop before it was cool. Yeah. We, were we didn't the stockpile. You have no. to buy in bulk anyway when you go to Costco. So we thought we'd get some bits in anyway. Yeah, we haven't done any stockpiling from any no. normal supermarket chains or anything. No, we need toilet paper. I, we've been Costco members for many years. Yeah, we This love, isn't, this we isn't an ad, by the way. No. We often buy stuff in bulk because we work from home. Again, it's good to have food in the house, like a lot of food. Because we 
I eat probably, if you have three meals a day, 21 a week, I probably have 15, 16 at least at home. Yeah, we, we went to try and give some tips. So what tips would you give to someone that's like, I've got a mate, for example, mate of ours, who sent me a picture of his setup now at home, mm. which is normally a lounge. They have, him and his partner have different jobs, but they now find themselves working back to back, two desks in, in one lounge, super tight proximity. If you've never done that before, what are the do's, what are the don'ts? Fart in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is, is this... Personal space. Respect other people's space. This is... It's hypothetically speaking, though. You haven't, you haven't been through that experience yourself. Clearly yeah. not. It, it depends how much space you've got in your house. Try and get space, basically. I wouldn't work in the same room if you can avoid it, personally. If you can avoid it. Try and work in different rooms. I know that's not possible for everyone, but if you can get a little desk and put it in the bedroom or someone else in the kitchen or the lounge or whatever. Definitely having routine. And I don't, I'm not an early riser, but I still like to get up at a decent hour get my work done and then shut off for the evening. Yeah, because I'm, like yes. I'm not like that. Yeah, you still sometimes work into the night and sometimes you can be up until 3 a.m. still doing emails. Whereas mm-hmm. I think it's so much more healthy to close that laptop, say 6, 6.30 p.m. and then change to... Um, I think you're right. I don't think there's mode. a right or wrong. Your way's better. I have the same thing as you, which I do like to have some kind of downtime every night, but I also don't mind then after the downtime going to a few more hours. I hate that. Or I don't mind um, having the downtime really late. Yeah. Like last night I got back from streaming at like one or something. You yeah. made me some dinner. You left it for me, which was lovely. Had the dinner and then I sat and watched an episode. Of, I haven't told you this. I watched an episode <gasps> of the US Office. Ben! It's a good, it's a massive Stop one as doing well. that. We're, ca- we're not catching up. We've never watched the US Office before and we're no. watching it now. And um, it's a really important one. You need to watch it without me. Catch we need up. to maybe make another video about all our favourite box sets. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a very uncertain time. Maybe you guys would like to see us talk more about what's happening in the world right now in the future. You'd like to see more of this kind of format video where we discuss what's going on in, in the world and our, our reaction to it. Because there's a lot of these co- content out there where people talk about things and there's certainly no shortage of it. But then mm-hmm. obviously everyone's different. Everyone has their own personas. And we are quite uniquely placed, in my opinion, as a UK-based couple who've been through so much of this internet boom, YouTube boom, social media world, we're of a certain age. Like, I think there is something there if people want to see it. And, um, and I'm going to be doing more stuff like this in, in this in this setting for football and stuff in the future and hashtag. But I think the most important thing to finish this video is by saying we're back together. We're going to stay together. We've had a really interesting year that has grown us both as people, I think, ultimately for the better. I'm not saying it's for everyone. I'm not saying everyone else should go and break up with their their better halves and their, and then have a year off and, as I called it, a year's loan deal in my Instagram page and then return to my parent club. I called it a sabbatical. Yeah, either or. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not saying it, it's got to be done. It happened for us. It was unavoidable at the time. We've been through it and I think we're better for it. But each to their own understand that everyone's life isn't always the Disneyland, the Disney version of events. Like you haven't got to meet someone at school and stay with them forever. You haven't, your first big relationship hasn't got to be the one that sticks. Uh, Having a long-term relationship that doesn't ultimately end in the way that you might want it to doesn't mean it was a failure. And just be forgiving of people's um, experiences. They're all different and understand that everyone's just trying to have a good life. Yeah, there's no right, one right way to do things. Everybody has to do their their own thing in their own time and i don't think people should judge others for doing it the way that they need to do it yeah do you want to have any final thoughts of the video Al, before we sign off it's a uh, it's really good to be back and i'm looking forward to seeing what we do in the future and let's just remember to be kind to each other because it is a trying time at the moment and can't wait to see you again soon new video coming soon drop a like if you're excited get your notification bell turned on because god knows even if you had it on before it's probably gone off youtube <laughs> we've, we've shut everything down we, we've reopened in a time where everything else is shutting down so we're yeah. open for business Whoop. um see you soon don't go changing but if you break up for a year and you get back together that doesn't count that, that's changing you can do that or you can't um, did, we <laughs> did we change change for the better yeah, we changed, but we also didn't. Yeah, ultimately, we returned exactly. to whoever we were at the start, which means we didn't change, which means don't go changing, still work. See you, suckers. <laughs>